Kifu kwamba naibu gavana wa CIA alibanduliwa na bunge la kaunti hiyo William Odwal anasema kwamba anaadhibiwa kwa kufichua ufisadi katika kaunti hiyo Odwal ambaye anahojiwa na kamati maalum ya Senate kuhusu ushahidi uliotolewa dhidi yake ambapo anatuhumiwa kwa ubadhirifu wa fedha za kaunti hiyo na kutumia ofisi yake visivyo miongoni mwa mashtaka mengine amesema kwamba kaunti hiyo na haswa gavana James Orengo ilikuwa inafuja pesa za kaunti also know it that goes from the hearings there are confusion between these two particular pro uh, processes and i wanted to make it clear so that we move forward so mr chair you find that on that motion even the report it's very clear on a general administrative it was not essential or anything there was nothing that was needed to be achieved by that motion other than getting chair, information i'm i'm constrained again uh, the issue of that report does not feature in his witness statement and we have no notice of that evidence and so, like I said, the purpose of the, the, the witness statement is to give notice. Uh, witness, can you please restrict yourself, Mr. To Chair? To your statement. I, I think uh, Council Modi, Jamnya Modi, hasn't read his uh, documents. That report, which is alleging is new, is contained in Volume Two of our bundle of documents. Actually, is the second last document in the bundle of documents. The, the report is produced with no context. Now the witness is attempting to give it context. That's my point. It was up to him to give it context in his witness statement so that we have notice. So please, Francis. The chair, I, I don't know how to go about it, but then through your guidance, how I wish that uh, the, 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 the learned friend tells us that the statement is just a guidance and it cannot contain everything that I wanted to say. It's my guidance to how I'm going to present my, but not everything that I'm going to say. What I want you to do, can you please restrict with yourself to the written statement? Mr. Ch Mr. When we are doing cross-examinations, you can bring that background. In fact, what you just said, I wish, uh, when you are doing the preliminary earlier, you would have, it would have been done. But just restrict yourself so that also, uh, you know, the counsel for the DG is going to eat into your time as you, if you don't restrict yourself. You know, I'm just trying to help you so that... Uh, you we are to get this thing properly. Thank you, Chair. Standing guided. Which which page is it? Chair, the report. Your kind permission for purposes of record. For the page. Chair, yeah, Chair. Yeah. On, 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 on this sort of procedure legally, uh, when when you go strictly the way the council or the DG is saying, then it's uh, it means uh, then you go by uh, affidavits only. But when he's giving the report evidence. Uh, then there can be a little leeway, but still stay with, within the limit, uh, Chair. This is for the purpose of the records. Yeah, that's why I've said he was giving a background, and uh, while you are giving background, also you save yourself time. You don't uh, waste a lot of time. Mr. Chair, the report is at page 1042. Yes. Of uh, volume two. Yes. I have, no, I have no problem, Chairman, if the witness refers to the report, because the report is in the bundle. The witness has produced the report without context, and that is how it should remain on the record of the Senate. He now can't put context on the record. No, it's, we, have, we don't have uh, the content he's talking about. We have the report here. We have his 10 for the two members. Yeah, that is just for record. Yes. That is the report dated May 2023. Yes. Committee on General Oversight. That's right. Okay. So let's, let's proceed. proceed.